If you're thinking to update your iPhone to iOS 26 in a couple of days as it will be uh, released, wait. There are a few things you must check first or you might regret it. In this video, I'll walk you through eight essential steps to get your device ready, avoid data loss, and stay secure. The first one to mention here is, of course, check device compatibility. Make sure uh, your device, your iPhone or iPad supports iOS 26. All the models may be dropped. The second one is free up enough space. iOS updates need more than just the size of uh, the update file, preparing and packing temporary files, etc. Suggest freeing up uh, 15 to 20 gigabytes by deleting and use apps, large videos, offloading photos as well. The third one is um, back up your device. Use iCloud or a computer um, backup. If doing better public release, archive the backup so you can roll back if needed. Um, yeah, I mean, backups protect against update failures or bugs. The fourth step is check app compatibility. Of course, some apps, especially banks, payment apps, enterprise tools uh, may not work immediately after update. So check the apps tool or developer site for any notice. The fifth step, know your passwords and accounts. Make sure you remember or have access to your Apple ID, device passcode, SIM or eSIM pin. After update, you might be prompted. Step number six, uh, ensure strong internet and power. Use reliable Wi-Fi, not cellular, where possible, and make sure phone is plugged in or has enough battery or is in charge range. And the good idea is to, uh, to do updates overnight when network load is lower. Step number seven is you have to search for known bugs, early reviews. Before updating, check forums, Reddit, tech sites to see if people with uh, same device are reporting issues, battery drain, overheating, lag, etc. Of course, if you have a second device, test update there first. And the last one is if you care about uh, customization tools, hold off. IS update often patch uh, exploits that, for uh, example, customization tools rely on. If you use tweaks, custom tools, wait until you know they are supported on iOS 26. So don't rush. Doing these first will save your headaches later. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe so you don't miss more iPhone tips and iOS update guides. Thanks for watching.